Uh, back here. Uh, I know rain's rain and weather is weather, but how deflating is it going through an experience like that today, preparing to play a side like India, only for it to fall apart in such a sodden way? Yeah, it would have been lovely to play. I mean, it's, it's, always, it's always tough mentally, I think, on a day like this when you come down prepared to play and, and it doesn't happen. But as you said, it's out of our control. We can't really do much about it. So we've got to move on quickly now for South Africa. Is there anything structurally you'd like to see done differently to help smooth the way if weather is a factor in future tournaments, such as reserve days or the ability to move games and, and things of that nature? Uh, look, I mean, reserve days, I think, is going to be a logistical nightmare, probably. Um, the ICC, I think, have made that fairly well known. Um, unfortunately, I think it's a bit of an anomaly, really, when you look at the amount of days we've lost already. I think it's the biggest sort of amount of days lost in a World Cup ever. Um, so you can't, we can't do much about that. We just have to, I guess, push on with what the schedule is. Gary, how much does it, how much does it hurt knowing that you'd be prepared to strike after what you did in the warm-up game? And I guess you, you sort of had found the measure of India, perhaps despite losing the series over summer? I'm not sure we found the measure of India, necessarily. Um, when the ball I, moved. I, I think the warm-up games were, were a chance for us to get back, back together as a, as a team. But... We were acutely aware that that had no bearing on, on what was going to happen today. Um, but as I said, we would have loved to have played India today. And um, I mean, they're obviously going hot and, and we feel as though we're playing reasonably well as well. So it would have been a, a really nice match up. Does that mean you can perhaps hold something back for you know, a potential semi-final and counter down the track that, you've, that you haven't you know, used up all your uh, wares? Um, Look, I think if you want to go through and play a semi-final or, or, or make the final, then you're going to have to play all the teams and you're, you're going to have to beat those teams as well if you want to win it. So um, I, I'm not sure we, we've necessarily hold anything back at all, but um, it just means we haven't struck each other in this tournament. As the, as the support staff, um, how do you I mean, deal with this? I mean, how do you keep the... There's such a breakdown in moment, momentum and everything, team was winning. As a support staff, how do you keep things going? Uh, well, to be honest, the first thing we're going to do is have a couple of days off. Um, we, we don't play again until for about six days now. Um, and I think it's important that you manage your breaks. And whilst um, we haven't played, we're still prepared. And so everything you do in your days before is about preparing to play still. So. It's quite ironic. I think our last four trainings have all been in, indoors. Um, so it, it's, it's just what we have to deal with. And I guess our team, we try and pride ourselves on, on our adaptability. So we have to, again, be adaptable. Given how confident you were of winning this game, do you reflect on it as a point gained or a point lost? Uh, um, look, it would have been lovely to, to play for two points if possible, I think. I think it's too early in the tournament to know if this is going to be inf influential or not in the in the long run of things. So we still have we know we still have to play good cricket against all the teams that we come up against, and South Africa is next on the agenda for us now. So we have to let this one go very quickly and, and move on to that. Hi, my question is because of the way that do you think teams who have started well early in the tournament it's an advantage for them? Teams who have started well. Um, well, we have to play everyone, so um, at some stage, I, I think the, the only real luck that comes into it is things like washout games and things like that, that how many you have, does that have an influence at the end? But at the end of the day, we want to be able to play for two points against every team, and, and then it's a real measure of where we're at as a team as well. Do you think that a week rained out like this will discourage the ICC, or has the potential to discourage the ICC from holding major events in well, this country, but also New Zealand? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, if you, if you took the UK summer from last year, then I'm not sure it did rain at all from, from the sound of things. But um, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit of bad luck, really, but uh, it can rain anywhere in the world. I mean, I, 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 my first tour was in Dubai, and it rained there and in the desert, and I never thought it was going to rain there either. But so, I mean, I don't think we can really help that. spoke about preparing for the days off. Could you give us a sense of what the team is going to be doing over the next six days? Uh, yep. So 
Tomorrow is a travel day to Birmingham. Um, we try and give our, our guys the chance, if they if they wish with their families or that, to travel outside and, and sort of get a wee bit of downtime. So um, the next two days will be their own, essentially. And then uh, the lead into the South Africa game, then we will do our normal, the way we go about preparing for the game, we'll scout the opposition, we'll have our two trainings beforehand um, with a view to, to playing South Africa and Edgebaston and Sorry, I don't even know what day it is, but um, in about six days' time. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.